Hi guys, it's Paige, and I'm coming to you from my RV. Uh, we were going on a trip, and I wanted to show you that you can exercise even if you only have this much space. So, I already warmed up. Um, I went for a walk, so I'm already sweaty. So, make sure you do a warm up for this. And to real quick, um, show you what I have here. I have um, a flat band. I have a couple of loops. This is easy. This is medium. And then I actually have a weight. I have a kettlebell, 10 pound kettlebell. Now you might not be able to have a weight, but you can definitely have these. So I'm gonna start, hold on, I gotta get, pick up the spoon. All right, so here's what I want to start with. So you're gonna take your flat band, your band, take it out to the side, and you're gonna, you're gonna start here, and you're gonna squat and pulse. And then you bring your arms back in. So here you're working your back and then your legs. So I'm gonna show you, go as low as you can, so we're just, I'm timing these. We're gonna do like 30 seconds in each exercise. But, so you should feel this. You wanna have some tension in there. Okay, so you're gonna rest. Okay, now we are going to do, so I'm gonna use my loop. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna do a one-legged deadlift, okay? So I'm gonna, hold this with my other hand and then I'm just gonna down and up and if you can lift your leg I don't really have enough space to do it I guess I can do it this way you can do that you can add a balance challenge good you can hold on I've got a little wall here good nine so about ten ten good okay now you're going to put it on your other foot. You're going to do the same thing. And then you're just going to go down and up. My balance is not great on this side, so. <laughs> there we go. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, now I'm going to have you take the band and then you're just gonna be in a lunge. And let me get the leg side here. So you're gonna be like in a lunge and you're just gonna do down and up. So you're not gonna be, if you have a loop, you're not gonna be able to come all the way up. Um, your bicep curl, I mean. Um, so what you're gonna do, you can use a flat band under both feet and hold both sides of it. You can also do a towel and, and just isometrically hold it under your foot if it's a big towel. One more. Good. Switch sides. Now this time I'm staying on the same arm, same leg. So, so I wanted to do bicep curl at the bottom because that's how I can get the most range of motion with this loop. Good. Seven, three more. Hey, you start to feel that band. Ten. All right. What's next? Okay, we're gonna do a side lunge with a row. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my medium band and I'm gonna put it around my legs. I'm really sweaty, so I hope it doesn't slide. Okay, now I'm gonna use my weight, but you can actually use a band to do this because what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a side lunge with a row. So you could do it this way or you can use a weight. Now, when I use a weight, I'm going to go this way. So I'm going to do row up there. So now we're just getting upper and lower at the same time. So this workout will not take, I mean, you can do as many circuits as you want. Um, however many you have time for, you know, if you just want to do one circuit, that's great. You know, when I'm traveling, I just want to do just enough to feel like you know, I'm getting some energy in my body. It's our last one. All right, now other side. Now, if you have the band, you might not be able to step because you'll lose your band. So what you can do is just say static. So you have the band on one side of your body. Okay, if that makes sense. I lost count, but we'll do three more. Two. Okay, 
Now I'm going to keep my band on my thighs and I'm going to take my legs wide, my feet out. I'm going to do kind of like a sumo squat. Okay, so now we're going to come up and we're going to go down and up. So do like a little lat pull. You don't want to go behind your head, but you want to squeeze your lats on either side of your back. Good. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, what do we have now? All right. Okay, so now I'm going to put the band around my ankles. Okay, and then I'm going to take my band. This is a shorter one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to step out and do a tricep extension. Okay, so I'm holding, actually I'm going to hold this over here and then on this shoulder and I'm pressed down. Okay, I'm kind of doing like a little one, like a straight one. For your butt. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side. Okay, switch. Bands are so great. They're just inexpensive. And I have a few of my favorites, so make sure you shoot me a, a message or email or comment if you want to know the best bands that you can buy. And 10. All right, so now I'm going to use my lighter band for this. We're going to have loop your hands Let's keep this on my legs. What we're going to do is step and then row. So you're just going to keep it real low. My phone's about to fall over. And just stay with me. I only got a few more exercises. One. So I'm doing 20 total. So you can kind of see what I'm doing. So you want to keep pressure on the band. So you should really feel like the back of your shoulders. Eight, nine, ten. Okay. Now I'm going to take this off. I'm going to go down to the floor. I'm going to use, I'm going to get a towel. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a little um, crawl. So you have this around your hips. I'm going to, let me turn this way because you can see me. Okay. So what you're going to do, well now you can't see me. This is a small space. Okay. So your knees are close and you're just going to go side to side. You want to keep your knees as close to the ground as you can. Nine, ten. Okay. I'm going to stand up for a second. We're going to do that one more time. We're going to do some push-ups. And then we're going to do a little bit of shoulders and we'll be done. All right. This is harder than it looks. Okay. So I'm just going to do 10. I'm on my knees. You can be on your toes or your knees. Your back is straight. If you need to come back a little bit, you can do that, like on your hand, hands and knees. Good. Seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. I don't want to get too close to the floor because it's dirty. One more. I'm going to use my kettlebell. So if you have a weight or if you have a band, you can do um, the outside. You're going to do an overhead press. Okay. What I'm going to do, so I'm going to take my kettlebell. If you have one and you know how to use it, this is a great thing to have. Okay. So what you're going to do is I'm going to swing, rack it, and then press. So swing and press. So if you use a kettlebell, you always want to, it's not a squat. 
and you basically are using your hips to lift the weight, if that makes sense. You're not using your arm. It should kind of float. You'll feel it in your arm. So I have just enough room to swing it without hitting something so far. And all right, I'm gonna do the other side. It's gonna stay here, seem safe. One. You can do this with the weight too, if you feel comfortable swinging. I would just start with a really light weight, but you have to have momentum. This is more dynamic. The kettlebell is very different from a weight. The weight is away from you. The weight is in your hand, like in your body. Nine and 10. All right, that was my RE workout. It took about maybe 10 minutes. Um, so I just want you to know that you can work out anywhere. You see my puppy? Look. <laughs> He's so hot. Did you supervise mommy's workout? Hey, bye, Hook. Okay, guys. There you go. There's your holiday workout. Happy Labor Day or whatever holiday it is for you. Bye.